Hey, good evening, folks. We are live at Bridge Haven Golf Course. This is the only golf course in Fayette County, and what a beautiful evening. We had a couple of drops a couple of minutes ago, but then that shower went to our east, and it is gorgeous outside. Let's show you a little panoramic view because we have the putting green. We also have the driving range where folks can practice uh, with their three iron or three wood. And then as we continue to pan through, we have a couple of golfers right now. This is probably hole 18. There's a pond there and also a sand trap, so you got to watch. Uh, where you hit the ball that's for sure this is a nice hilly golf course it is gorgeous out here and i think folks since the uh, sunshine has come out people are gathered around and we have people coming out here through the evening of course the golf course is all open through the early part of the evening so if you get a chance and you want to hit the links this is a beautiful evening because i don't think the rain's going to impact fayetteville going forward but we do have a couple of more showers on the radar let's take a look right now at your current conditions region wide and get you up to speed on what's going on so what we have here is the overall view going forward is the showers will end we'll have some patchy fog late tonight and then we'll have a nice middle of the week so have showers on tuesday gorgeous wednesday thursday friday thunderstorms return this weekend severe thunderstorm watch to the east those storms are not going to impact us they're going to stay to our east these couple of specks on the radar will be moving through it'll rain for about 10 minutes at your location then it'll be done the culprit is that low pressure across the great lakes and that low pressure is going to be with us through tuesday so we are going to have a couple of showers once again tuesday afternoon and yes we do have the severe thunderstorm watch along the i-95 corridor that's what all those yellow boxes are east of our region right now Temperatures are in the upper 70s to lower 80s. When you get under one of these showers, it really cools off nicely into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Then the sun will come out, and you can see our temperatures there when the sun's out in the low 80s. So going forward, the couple of showers through the evening, about 9 o'clock. The rain will end. We'll have some patchy fog when you wake up in the morning, mainly in the river valleys. And then a couple of showers between about noon and 6 o'clock on Tuesday. Wednesday will be nice as that low moves to the I-95 corridor. Low humidity. Gorgeous on Thursday. Gorgeous on Friday. Showers and storms in here over the weekend, primarily afternoon, both Saturday and Sunday, as we get a little bit more humidity and another disturbance heading in our direction. Now, here is your seven-day forecast. The high 70 degrees, so a little bit cooler tomorrow. We'll have a northwest wind, a couple of showers in the afternoon, and then less humid, 77 degrees on your Wednesday. Thursday, we're back in the low 80s, same on Friday, and temperatures over the weekend, low 80s with those afternoon showers and storms. And instead of the cool, pleasant 50s at night, we'll be in the 60s, so it'll be a little bit muggy. And then Monday, seeing temperatures will be in the low 80s. So Overall, not too bad of a pattern going forward because it's not going to, going to be a continuous rain. We don't have any tropical concerns for our region. As a matter of fact, Cindy dissipated in the Atlantic, so we have no tropical activity to speak of whatsoever. And even if you're going to the beaches this weekend, the weather looks pretty nice. So that's very nice to know. Now, so we have the sunshine. It is gorgeous out here. I'm told that the sunset here is absolutely stunning. So if you want to see a beautiful sunset, come to Bridge Haven Golf Club for sure.